Hello YouTubers, what is going on out there today? Here I am again to talk about 18650 batteries. Today we are going to talk about 18650 batteries again. Why? It seems that most of us still do not believe that this thing works. With all the big DIY family that is going on on YouTube, come on YouTubers, you still do not believe that these cells work. Okay, listen, listen up. Most people do argue me that with all the cells that I am building, they are not going to be able to drive my electric car. Well, let me tell you, there's a good news. This car is already driving on its own power with only 18650 batteries. It turns out that this is the only car in the world that has been, maybe there's something out there, but I have researched and I have asked people to research to see if there is one. This is the only car in the world that has 100% recyclable laptop batteries, 100%. And we have 6,000 cells under the hood. Hey, guys, believe it or not, it works. But let me tell you one thing, and I'm going to explain this to the best of my knowledge. When I started building this thing, I, as I earlier told you guys, I didn't know that there was someone out there doing the same thing. The first person I came in contact was Mr. Jehu. Researching it again, he introduced me to other people that they are doing the same thing on YouTube. And they have proven that these things work. And I I'm also here to testify to you that it works. I'm driving my car right now with it. I need really that camera to be able to make good videos. I'm still using my iPhone to shoot this video, guys. So all the videos that you guys are seeing, I'm using my iPhone. It's not really anything to make good videos and have a good audio on it. The first set of batteries that I put in there, I was able to put up a 126 mile wrench on my battery pack that I first of all put in there. So, for sure, for sure, with the top speed that I have on my car, I'm going to go above 200 mile range on this MG Major. Above, I'm going to go above, but I my target is 300 even though some people say i'm not going to make it well uh we are going to find out i'm not really sure of what i'm saying but that is my target okay let's talk about this three cells here what can we do with three of these 18 650 batteries these cells bear in mind that these cells have not been tested. I didn't test the resistance, the internal resistance. I didn't test it. I, I didn't test anything on these cells. What I did was I charged up these batteries about five months ago. And today I retested them and all of them they say give 4.16 volt. So I'm going to put this battery batteries in series in order to have what 12 volts since this one is 4.2 4.2 multiplied by 3 i'm going to have my 12 volt battery so what do you think that we can power with these three cells let me prove to you today or for those who still have the argument that I am I will be able to power my fan with these three cells. I'm going to turn on my fan and I'm going to enjoy the fan with three of these cells. What can I actually also power with these 18650 batteries? 
I will be I will prove to you today that these three cells I can power my TV with these three cells you want you want to say no okay guys let us do it please stop if you really want to learn how to do this thing I'm saying just start the way I started just start very low take three cells put them together to a volt battery try turn it on and see if it works it works then josh you're online josh yourself guys so and very soon you'll be able to put up these big boys like these big guys here pays a lot of work and uh, i am really 100 percent sure that i have nice packs good sales and uh, they're working they're working so let's connect these batteries in series and see what we can do with them right now hey guys as you are taking a look seeing how i sold my 18650 batteries in series in order to power our fan and our tv also take a look on peter marius check out peter marius he has he has a lot of sales out there and he's actually doing a great job i wish i can do the way he do he document everything i don't have that time i work kind of i work so much in the back in the background uh, i just come out once in a while this is the way i actually decide to solve this sales this is not the right way but i just well, this just for demonstration purposes this i actually use the same brass that i use in soldering the bad boys right here so let's try and see if they actually work here i will use my power converter this is a power converter and it is a 410 watt so the only thing I'm going to do here right now is to take the negative of my power converter to the negative of the batteries and the positive to the positive of the battery. So let's do it. So the positive goes to the positive. Let's see if it turns on. You see the light is on on our power converter so I'm going to first of all try to see I'm going to first of all try to see if I can power my fan using these cells this is my fan and the cable go directly to the fan guys let's check it out turn it off plug it directly to my power converter and turn it on look at that the fan is working guys the fan is working great look at that you see the fan is The fan is working great, guys. Look at that. So the noise from the inverter because the battery is a little bit low, so that's why you make the noise. Okay, let's turn it off. So you see, we have powered our fan with our cells right here. These are our cells that we use in powering our fan. So, it's the same thing. If I plug it up onto my TV, it's going to power up my TV with all this, with just these cells. It is true that it's not going to power my TV for a very long time, but the more you put in series, right here as I'm putting, if I keep adding in series, it keep adding the voltage. If I grab these cells and I continue putting negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, positive what is going to happen now is going to keep the same capacity but increase the voltage but what happens if i practically go and 
start increasing in parallel adding in parallel here what happened is it will keep the same voltage and increase the capacity which capacity is what we need in order to be able to power anything uh, with so many arrows if you need so so if you need to build a battery pack you first of all need to build you need to ask yourself first of all a couple of questions what do you want to power if you just want to build a 24 volt pack yes go ahead and uh, how long do you what's your target what do you want to power and for how long that time that is when your, the testing of your cells will come in in place you, at that particular time you need to actually test your cells to know how many milliamps is each cell so that you should be able to do your math good in order to build a good pack that will go and will fulfill your needs so guys the only thing i wanted to show you tonight was that you can take three of these cells or four or build a 16 volt a 2 volts and be able to power your tv with it thank you very much and please please share my videos please share my videos thank you